Hey guys, this is Useboy24, also known as Dan, and today I'm going to show you my apps on my Mac. So, this is a What's on My Dock video. We'll be hopefully doing quite a lot of these. Um, if you haven't checked out my Type 25 Black Ops 2 review, go ahead and watch that now, and also go and watch my Top 5 iOS games. So, let's go ahead and begin. So, I have Xcode, that is my first thing that I'll be showing you. Xcode. So we can create a new project, or just click on recent. So I'll just click on recent because I was trying to do this video, but I'm kind of mucked up. So let's use this as an example. So basically, here are the files which you code. You need to know Objective C, and you know it's pretty useful. We can make apps and send it to the App Store. Um, you can make apps for iPhone, iPads, um, iPods, Macs. Here we've got some um, objects, so we can uh, drag and drop, let's drag and drop the button, just like that, name this button, subscribe, and then we can go ahead and click and run it, it's not going to do much because I haven't really coded it, so it's probably just going to add some text in and then the button's going to go up and down. You'll see what's going to happen. So it's, we're going to open this iOS simulator which comes with it and it is free on the App Store so if you like creating apps or you like coding and you have a Mac, go ahead and get Xcode. It is free. It is quite big, it's like 2.4 or 2 gigabytes I think it will take up. You know it's not that much. As you can see you can uh, Type and you can press the button and it goes blue and press it. It doesn't do anything because I haven't put any code in, but you know, it's a useful software to have if you like programming or making apps. So that was Xcode. Um, second, I have Adobe Photoshop CS6. This is the cracked version, I got it cracked, I think. So let's open up. So you can uh, go ahead and click on File and New. Press OK, and this is my thumbnail. Um, this is the size and width for my thumbnail, and this is the software that I use for making my thumbnails. So let's go in into my finder. So this is the recent one I've done. I've also made more. These are the pictures I got website template still editing here's some uh, thumbnails which I made on Photoshop no it's really easy to do can I go, go on YouTube and type in how to make a thumbnail and this is Photoshop CS6 I think everybody knows what Photoshop is it's just a paint program but really advanced so let's move on to our next one so this is Daisy Disk and it shows you how much storage you have left and so on. So we can uh, go ahead and delete uh, or uninstall software files and it tells you how much it's taking over. So Xcode 1.9 gigabytes. If I didn't want that anymore I could just drag it into here and it press delete and it'll delete the file and you'll never get it ever again. It's better than putting it in the trash because the trash it always keeps some files and it doesn't put it doesn't um put your storage back to normal. So this takes rid of the whole thing, so you'll have more storage when you delete it. You get what I mean. Um QuickTime Play is already installed and this is what I'm recording if you wanted to know. We've already got that. I've just changed the icon. Um Minecraft must have on your PC or PC or Mac. But I have it on my Mac. And I think everybody knows what Minecraft is. Minecraft's a uh, game for the PC and Mac or Xbox 360. So you can play it online with friends, friends, or friends, friends. Or you can just create your own world. So here's a little shelter that I've been building. Here's the mining area. And basically, the whole world's made out of blocks. It's a sandbox game. And you can basically place blocks. So we can uh, get that block, you pick it up, 
and you can pop it back if you want. Create this, like a little shelter, and you can kill chickens. I uh, kind of failed, but you know, I think everybody knows what Minecraft is, so don't really have to go over Minecraft. So that was Minecraft, guys. Um, next, we have stencil. If you don't know what stencil is, it's basically like game salads. But if you don't know what game salad is, it's both of these are game engines to create games for Androids, iPhones, iPads, iPods, the Chrome Web Store, and so on. Uh, this is this is free, but you can get the paid version where you can publish it to iOS devices and Android devices. But the free one, you can only publish it to the Chrome Web Store. So you can download other people's games, or games. There's games already installed. Here are the resources so you can get other people's creations and download it. So Minecraft here. Download some Minecraft textures or characters. And get some more stuff, you know, and you can create games. And next, I have game salads, which is basically the same thing. This is only this is the beta, and I think you can only publish it to the Chrome Web Store again. Not quite sure, but you have to upgrade it as you can see there to give it to the iOS, any iOS devices, so you can uh, either create a new project or you can use projects which are already installed when you install it, or you can download other people's projects which does cost money. So here it's what it looks like, you press the publish button, so this is what it actually looks like when you're creating the game, you just have to uh, drag and put it on actors, got loads of um, standards, behaviors and codes. You don't really have to put codes in, it just selects just selects stuff, you know, it's not that hard to do. Game Salad is quite easy if you know what you're doing. Um, I'm using Coda2 as my web developer. I'm still trying it out. Starting to create a website but I haven't done anything just apart from creating a file for it but I do prefer Dreamweaver but somehow I can't actually download Dreamweaver it says that there's an error every single time so I kind of gave up on that and trying out different kind of software so this is a basically Dreamweaver it's a web design software so you can make websites with it also I have a rapid weaver and this again makes websites for you. I, I love this software. Um, add pages can can actually add, download, and put pages on here. So um, let's just put blog page. You can, you got loads of things. My favorite one is the bottom one here. This one right here. And then. You just put it into live view. It's not gonna work because don't have some things done. Hang on, let me just just delete that and add a style text. Okay, you can just type stuff in. You can uh, change the fonts, where it is, the colors, and so on. And then you just switch it to live view. And this is what it looks like. And change it to home. And as you see, it changed to home. And here's the text which I was writing. You obviously can change that by going to the setup tool and call it subscribe. Just press OK. And it should update. There, subscribe and then you can publish it but obviously you need to do all the setup stuff and everything else and this is paid but you can get it cracked, it's really easy to get it cracked or just download Mediafire for it 
we could just download the trial and just type in Rapid Weaver um, serial numbers. There's a website which gives it to you, or you just probably find it. Um, next, I have Skype. Um, Skype. I think everybody knows what Skype is. Basically, you can uh, call and do live videos. Well, not live videos, but you know, live webcam. And here's like all the friends. And you call people, you can call random people. So it's good for doing prank calls. And that was Skype. I think everybody knows what Skype is, so I don't really have to go through it. Uh, I have this um, app called Clean. It's free, so is Skype. Unless you want to get credits for it. Um, so here is clean. So basically, when we clean, it cleans our desktop, and that is it. Uh, calculator is already installed. I have uTorrent for downloading torrents. So open that up, see what it is. If you don't know what it is, so basically, you go to this website called Pirate Bay, and you search anything, search any software or any games, files, pictures, whatever. And basically, it's a torrent, so you download it with uTorrent, and it's basically free. So, uTorrent just helps you download torrents, which is not illegal, but it's quite complicated to just to um to say or describe what uTorrent is or torrents. But anyway, moving on, we have Tweetbot or Twitter. I think it's just called Twitter. And it's free on the App Store. Tweetbot it is quite expensive, like twenty pounds, and it's no difference, you know. And it's free, so it's pretty cool. So let's check how many followers I have. Make sure to uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm not quite sure how much followers I have. I think it's like two hundred and sixty. So go ahead and follow me. I am Hughesboy Boy Twenty Four. And it is nice. You can uh, do some tweets. Add a new, like, put a new tweet. Get the tweet there. You can look at other people's tweets in the timeline. You can look who other people who uh, wrote to you. Check the messages, lists, profile, and search. So it's pretty, pretty nice. And I prefer this than Tweetbot because Tweetbot is very very expensive. Um, next I have this Smart R and basically I use it for schoolwork and it's flashcards so make some flashcards and let's just study. Um, I know this. Okay basically got that right and you go on and on and then you just press the X button at the top to get out um, you can make loads of stacks as you can see here new stack and add loads of stacks and it's very very helpful for revision for tests because I am doing my GCSE soon so these are very very helpful for tests making flashcards and it's free um, next I have Steam Steam is sort of a social networking game site where you can download games, play with friends. My account's name is HughieBoy24, so if you want to be my Steam friends, just give me a friend request and I will add you. I haven't downloaded any games from Steam, but I have got some games like Minecraft, and I'll show you some games in a minute. So it does take a while to load. Just connect to my account. You can go full screen mode or just go normal size. So this is what it looks like. Go on the store, or you can um, upload your games to it, and you get some money if people download it, you know. And here are the games. Some are free, like this one, free to play. Um, it tells you what operating system you will need. Not much for Apple. There's loads for Windows. Um, you can uh, download software, demos, ref games, you can click on the free to play, 
and all of this is free to play. Remember to look at the operating system and you can download it and play it with friends. You have library, community library is where all your downloaded games are. Um, check your profile, friends, workshop, which is what people ask um, to make what they want and everything is where you can create games basically and we have news so basically it's pretty nice for downloading games so if you like downloading games and for your computer for quite cheap uh, I recommend Steam um, I have Spotify Premium which is free for Macs and PC you can download it from Spotify.com and it's 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 sort of like iTunes, but it's got loads and loads of music. It tells you it has top of the lists. Um, let's watch. Actually, we are not going to uh, listen to a song. I was going to listen to a song just to show you, but it will be copyright, so I'm not going to do that. But you can make your playlists, search, uh, look at what's new. Um, top of the list, uh, you just click down, you can share it, and you can listen to songs for free. And it's free. However, there is some ads. Like every six songs, maybe, an ad comes, but it's really quick. It's like 30 seconds. So it doesn't really bother me. And Spotify is a nice, nice music app. Um, So what you have games, games. So I have also got an I antivirus, which is made by Norton and it's free on the App Store, and you can you scan for files, any uh, viruses or anything. It will tell you, and it's really quick. Normally it will take like hours, but this one it like takes thirty seconds and it's done. Um. My next one is Euro Truck Simulator, which costs five pounds ninety nine. So this is Euro Truck. So that was Euro Truck. Basically, you drive trucks around Europe. It's a truck simulator basically. I am going to do a video of it, so make sure to check that out when it does get uploaded. Also, I have Mega Run. I wasn't going to show you the uh, Euro Truck Simulator because it would take too much time. So, let's play and here's some gameplay of it. So, you can choose level and everything. Let's go ahead and play. and you can't touch the black box so we'll go again it's really really addictive and it's free here's quite hard or oh, I'm just really bad at it here's at the top oh, again it tells you your best run top here or you will see the distance that you're running as you see there it goes up basically the controls is up or down. You can double jump and everything. So I am pretty bad at this game. And 120, high score. And that is Mega Runner. Next one is Shotgun Fun Fun, and this will be the last one of my what's in my dock. So it's free and basically it kills zombies. It's a great game. Zombies right here. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty nice. You have to see how many zombies you can kill. 
uh, without dying. Oh, nice. There's loads of zombies here. So it is pretty, pretty addicting. A nice game is free, and you just kill zombies. See how far I can go. As you can see, my heart rate is going down, and I'm dead. So that is Shotgun Fun Fun. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the video.